All right, welcome back to LearnWire. In this video, we're going to be doing a copy.ai review. This is the homepage of copy.ai, and I know that this is one of the top requested videos. I just have not been able to get around to it. I'm so glad that I am. I've already tested the tool out for the last uh, 15, 20 minutes, and so far, I'm really liking what I am seeing. This is actually the first time I've ever logged in to Copy AI, so I'm not really an experienced user, but it's really cool because I'm going to be able to show you what it's like from a brand new user's perspective. Uh, they obviously have over 500,000 content marketers, and this is one of the biggest ones um, out there. And it, I'm sure a lot of you are surprised that I have not uh, used this or dabbled with this product, but I'm glad to be showing it to you today. All right, so this is the home page. Obviously, it's filled with testimonials, and they're claiming they have over half a million people using the tool, customers, uh, eBay, Nestle, and Zoho and so forth. So it's definitely one of the top uh, tools in the industry. I'm not gonna get into the history of it or when it came out, that is not what this video is for. We will go look at the pricing and I think that you will be surprised that if you pay uh, annually, you'll get, uh, you'll, you can get this for $420 for the entire year, unlimited credits unlimited projects, 25 plus languages, 90 copy tools. So they're already beating pepper type and, uh, even beating, uh, Jasper with 90 plus copywriting tools. Uh, I'd imagine copy AI has been around longer. Uh, I'm going to actually, I think that that does, uh, I'm going to go and uh, find that out real quick. Okay, so Copy AI looks like it started back in 2020, and they immediately got 2,000 signups. Um, so it does have a, a ton of funding, $2.9 million. Uh, so I believe uh, Copy AI and then and then uh, Jarvis and then Jasper, I think that they got started right after them. So uh, needless to say, um, here it is. And if you go and you want to pay monthly, you're at $49 a month for unlimited. And when you compare that to really the, the direct comparison would be with these two tools, the direct comparison would be Jasper and PepperType. Um, and Jasper um, is far more expensive than this. Uh, now, there are some differences between the tools and no one has, quite has a tool like Boss Mode that Jarvis uh, or Jasper, sorry, has. But other than that, 90 plus copywriting tools and we're gonna look at quality as well. I'm on a free account, which they are pretty generous, I believe, um, 100 bonus credits for the first month. So plenty of credits to get to know the tool and see if it's right for you. And then you can pay either $49 a month, which is going to be one of the most affordable for a high quality tool like this. Um, or you can even get that way down and get a massive discount for 435. Just to give you an idea, even if you were on the 100,000 word plan on Jasper, uh, you would be paying uh, $100 a month, right? Times 12. So you would be at $1,200 a year and you wouldn't even have unlimited credits. You'd only have 100,000 uh, credits per uh, 100,000 words. Right over here, you get unlimited words. So that's just a pricing comparison real fast. We're gonna jump into the tool and there are a million tools in here, right? Almost 100 tools that we can use and there are notably a ton that uh, are actually different than you will not see in any other tool. I am gonna see in here uh, Cora. I do not think that they, out of almost a hundred tools, I'm not seeing a Quora answers, which is uh, surprising, but let's see if we type in answer. Nope. Analogy brand mission. So yeah, I'm not seeing any of the answer type tools, but you're getting a ton of other stuff. They have even, I don't even know what shower thoughts brainstorm unique shower thoughts on any topic. Love letters, cover letters, clubhouse bio, uh, brainstorming tools, name generators, viral ideas. I've tested some of this stuff out. It's super, super cool. We have the writing tools. You have your analogy generator, uh, adjective. Um, and there's some really cool stuff in here that I just won't be able to show everything in this video. Um, but you have essay intro, essay outro, cliffhanger, add a cliffhanger to your paragraph, um, and so forth. Passive to active voice. I did try that one out before the video and that one didn't seem like it worked. Um, it didn't really change it to first person or anything like that, but still nonetheless, press release intros, rewrite with keywords. This one's cool. I'll show you, start off by showing you this one real quick. So if we went in here and let's say we go with how to lose weight with the Atkins diet and let's just say we want to 
Oh, okay, so here's what I did. Let me put this text in here that I saved right here. And then right here, let's say we say uh, Atkins. And then we also say uh, low carb. So let's say we wanted to rewrite this text, but we wanted to include these topics in there. We would just push the create button. And it's very fast. Uh, when we tried to lose weight this past month, we actually ended up failing. This was primarily because we did not stick to the low carb Atkins plan. So it included those keywords in there as it rewrites Atkins low carb, right? So low do 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 uh, Atkins diet low carb right here. Okay. So it actually will include the keywords in there, which is cool. This is great for SEO, right? If you're actually trying to rewrite content and you can actually put up to a thousand uh, characters in here and include that text. Super, super cool. If you're using some of your optimization tools and you want to include keywords, um, this might be a cool tool to actually start embedding some of those keywords in there naturally. And this tool will actually go out there and do it naturally for you. So super, super awesome stuff. We're going to keep going through here. There are so many different things that you can get into over here. But what we're going to do, um, let's just look at the startup tools, um, audience refiner, brand mission, brand voice, motto generator, value uh, proposition, and then a website copy of call to action, discover the right call to action for your website, event copy, a landing page, hero text, listicles, discover a list of subtopics for any topic. That is super cool. Uh, meta descriptions, micro copy, humanized text by applying micro copy best practices, question generator, generate engaging questions for your target um, audience. Uh, social proof text, subheader, testimonial, rewriter, super, super cool stuff. But right now, what I think most everybody is interested in is how do we write an article here? So we're going to go here and, and to go into the blog tools. Now, automatically, you can see over here, you have this, uh, you have this editor over here, which is super, super cool. Now, I know you guys don't have your... Uh, have access to the notes feature in PepperType, but this is very similar to that, but it's cool that they built this in so you can start building out your um, your content over here on the right side, right? Okay, so we're gonna go through here and let's just go with blog ideas, okay? And then we're gonna go up here and let's just say um, how to lose weight fast. And then we're just gonna say, um, well, when we tried we let's just stick with that and then we're going to go with persuasive and create copy all right so the five most common mistakes that are made when trying to lose weight a blog about okay so let's just go with that we're going to copy this and we'll just throw this over here and what we'll do is also push return this is kind of like the meta description right here um i'll go like that and push an a right there and then right here, this could be your H1. And then we'll come through here. And then what we would do is go into our blog intro. So all the typical stuff that you'd expect, right? We're going to leave this stuff here. And I'm leaving it on persuasive because I've tested this out. And it actually does some pretty compelling persuasive type copy, which is actually kind of nice, especially if you're doing a review or review site. We kind of want to uh, just steer someone in, in, in a direction. Um, the persuasiveness can really help when we try to lose weight this past month. We actually ended up failing. We think it was because we did not stick to the nutrition plan that was given to us. However, we can't let this happen again in the near future and we're willing to try again. That is why we've decided to take a closer look at the certain types that helped us to lose weight. So that's great. We can go through here. Boom. And we can go through here. And then what we could do is you could do a, the listicle uh, section um, or we can go into outline. Let's just use the outline section. We'll leave that in right there. Um, and I'm going to go with the title right here. What is the blog about? We're actually going to switch this right here and we want to get five and we're going to go persuasive, create copy, boom. And then section, it's not what you eat, it's when you eat. Um, don't limit your food choices, eating less before bed, intermittent fasting. So one, two, three, four, five. It did give us five there, it gave us five there, it gave us five there. So the blog outline works extremely well. Um, I like this first one up here, so we're gonna go copy and we're gonna go with the paste right here. Now you can take the section off if you want. Um, what I'm going to do is just grab all these right here and make them H2s. And then we can go like this and push return and get this all set up, right? And then you could just go and remove the section right there. 
just like that. You're ready to go. Now it's not what you eat, it's when you eat. We can copy that and there's other different things. Now there's a listicle feature here as well. Um, we're gonna look at the freestyle in a minute. The keyword generator is super cool as well. We're gonna look at those two as well. While all the tools are pretty amazing from what I'm seeing and the quality is really high. Um, and I've checked Copyscape as well and got no results on giant paragraphs as well. Um, so that is something that's really good as well. Um, now there's a lot of tools. I'd have to make multiple videos. Right now we're spending all of our time in this video on the blog tools section pretty much. Uh, so we have our outline right here. Now we're gonna need to go into the bullet point section and we have this right here. Um, what is the main point of the paragraph? Um, we're just gonna put this in. It's not what you eat, it's when you eat. Create copy. I'm not seeing where you can choose how many, um, where you can choose how many results you want, but it does spit out a lot of results every time. So we're gonna come back up and it's not what you eat, Dr. Michael Mosley and uh, Spencer demonstrate how. So you would wanna check that stuff. When it gets real specific like that, I usually try to skip that content. Um, we'll come through here, eat at the same time. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so we'll go with that. Or maybe even this one is huge right here. Look at this. Okay, we'll just go with that one, that's cool. So look at, right here's cool because we can push enter, paste that in, and something that PepperType does not have that I'm asking for them, is check this out. You know how many words you have right here. You can look down here at the lower right hand corner, 375 words already. So now we can just go copy. We can come back up here. And if you wanted to, you could actually close the editor right here, which is cool. But while you're creating your article, it's gonna make sense to have that open. Now we're just gonna put in this right here and push uh, create. All right, so we've got our results here. Don't limit your food choices. It kind of went uh, into a little list right there, which is kind of cool. Don't limit your food choices, copy, and don't limit your food choices. We're gonna go like that and paste that in, and then uh, clean this up a little bit, like so, like so, and just grab this real quick and come back up real fast. So you can see it's just really a copy and paste thing, very much like the pepper type thing that we were looking at as well. I will say that this is seems to be giving you more options. It's very fast and it's spitting out a lot of content right here when it comes up with stuff like this, um, these like symbols and stuff. I'll usually skip that content um, and we'll just move on to something else right here. And that one looks pretty good. So we're gonna copy that and paste that in right there. But it's giving you a lot of content that you can skim through and quickly see a paragraph, um, a few paragraphs. It splits the content up really well, nicely as well. Um, and then you can just grab it and go. So we're gonna copy that, come back to the top, paste that in, and you can see how easy it is. Now you can switch the tone of voice right here. I'm gonna go with friendly now and push create copy. Intermittent fasting isn't for everyone. Let's see what it comes up with real quick for us. Uh, isn't for everyone, it can be, and you can see, you can get as much content as you want. Come with stats. We'll go with that first one, copy. And then we can come through here, copy. And obviously if one of these paragraphs is pretty different from the other content, then you can go ahead and just copy. You could grab this, copy that, and you could also put it in under there as well to just continue to extend your content, right? So copy, come back up here and grab this last one, paste, boom. And it's super fast, very, very impressive. Uh, very, very impressive. Very impressed with this software. I will come back through here and grab something. Uh, you really shouldn't exercise on an empty stomach. Uh, if you're looking at losing weight, this burns a ton of calories. Wrong. It's true that exercising on an empty stomach won't burn as many cal overall calories as workout. The problem is when your body is burning fat for fuel, it produces substances called ketone, ketones. Okay, cool. Let's go with that. Copy. Um, we just push return once, paste, boom. <clears throat> and then these one A's, those are coming from different sites. You probably just want to remove those, right? Um, because it's rewriting the content completely and we don't really know where the source is coming from anyways. The takeaway, the five most common. So we're going to grab this as our conclusion, go to the conclusion paragraph here. Um, and then we're going to end with a friendly note as well. And you can see we have 1,064 words in literally five minutes. 
uh, super, super fast. And if you want a big paragraph, you just come down here. And the best way to lose weight is to find a balanced meal. Uh, do do do. Um, it's impossible to lose weight for good. You have a uh, so just kind of look. Um, you will now be able to find, lose weight feeling good. Okay, so I like it when it wraps it up. And then right here, you would just say conclusion if you wanted to paste that in and then make this one an H2. Okay, so you're at uh, 1100 words right here very, very quickly. Uh, high quality. Um, we'll do the test. We'll go ahead and control A, all this, control copy. We'll go to copyscape over here. We will delete that and do a premium search on this. And it did find one result. That's not bad. One result is totally fine. And it's just um, a few words. So not bad. Um, alrighty. So uh, what do I think of copy AI just based on using it for the last about 45 minutes? Uh, super impressed. Uh, definitely would put it at one of the top tools. And I know that um, any of you that have copied that have commented on any of my videos about copy AI, you have um, very um, outspokenly said you need to try copy AI. Uh, I haven't heard anything bad about copy AI from any of you and you guys have all encouraged me to go check this tool out. So I'm glad that I did just now. Um, it is worthy of being at the top of the food chain in this industry. It's super, super good. Um, there's just so many tools. I can't wait to look at some of the other tools here. Um, so I guess I wanted to show the freestyle tool real quick. So how do we wait, um, fast and we can leave it on friendly and then we'll just leave that there. So then now what happens, um, you can actually have the, f the main points in there. Um, let's say I'm going to see create right here. So it's actually going to go out and it'll create multiple paragraphs for you, this freestyle writing. So like right here, it starts writing for you. If you want to kind of get something really fast going, it gives you an intro paragraph and it just says losing too much weight is too quick, uh, too quickly, assuming that being, um, this means being fit, unfortunately, and then not, and then you, so you can, it, it goes out there and I had a better, um, let me go into real fast, my saved. Yeah, it's over here. So I did this earlier and I had, um, did the Atkins diet topic and it really came up with some really good stuff like this one right here. Have you tried every diet out there? You're not alone. We've all been there and it just keeps going through. It does really, really well. And then look, this means that if you follow a low carb diet like Atkins, you'll be able to lose weight, lose belly fat, uh, lower your blood pressure, improve your cholesterol. So it gives out these 14 tips right here. And this is your, this is your article outline right here. So this tool, if you use it right, um, will give you a massive, um, outline. And then you could put that in over here and then you could start using the bullet point, um, it for each one of these, right? So super, super cool stuff. Last thing I wanted to show you is the keyword generator. If you're over here and you want to just say a uh, low carb diet, um, and then you just say, uh, create copy. It's going to go out there and find the most um, common or popular keywords like low carb diet, low carb recipes, low carb cookbook, low carb dinners. You can use this for your uh, YouTube uh, video keywords or use this in your article and look at how many keywords that's giving you. You can actually copy all those, put them in a spreadsheet and then remove duplicates and you would have a massive list of keywords. So overall, awesome tool. If you want to pick this up and start your free trial with Copy AI, there will be a link in the description. Thank you for joining me in this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my next reviews and tutorials. Until next time, take care.